Hey Cali friends and fam, welcome back to our channel, you know, the most humble corner of the internet. Um, today, we are going to be doing another video starring Lady Lola. She is uh, all sweatered up because it is extremely cold outside right now. I think most of the country is under some kind of massive winter storm, so I uh, hope you're all enjoying that. Um, now, today I really want to address something. Miss Lola, this sweet angel of a girl, is the absolute worst when it comes to getting her nails cut. Now, I mean, I'll be honest, Oliver's not much better, but Lola flat out refuses. She sees the clippers and she absolutely just runs away from me. I cannot get her to hold still to save my life, which is crazy because normally she's just the biggest snuggle teddy bear ever. But today her nails are getting a little crazy, getting a little out of hand, and I'm ready to find a way that is going to help me <laughs> cut her nails, not only right now in the middle of the pandemic where taking her to the groomer is not always the easiest thing to do, but also just for the future so that I can better take care of my dog. Now she always just gets so wiggly, so squirmy, and I'm afraid that I'm going to nip her quick if she's moving too much. And it's just, it's so hard between her wiggles and her crying and my being afraid. I just, I almost never get her nails trimmed. They're, they're out of control, they're ridiculous. So I did some research and I wanna try out some dog nail trimming hacks uh, that I found. Uh, hopefully I can find a way that's going to make Lola's grooming experience a little less traumatic for her and a little easier to manage for me. So I did some research and I found three hacks that I think will potentially work for getting her nails trimmed. So we'll go ahead and do a few nails on each hack and see which one works best and hopefully we'll be able to figure out a new solution for her. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first hack that I wanna try is this baby carrier that I borrowed from my lovely big sister. She, she is the mother of my perfect little niece. And um, I borrowed this in hopes that having Lola on my front with her little feet sticking out, that's supposed to help it to where I can like reach around and clip her nails, so we'll see how that goes. So, now I'm not 100% sure how these things go on. It looks like sorcery, but let's see if we can get it on me and then get it on the Lola. Okay. Well, my dog fits in a baby carrier. You comfy? Okay, so now that she is settled, I've got the dog nail trimmers, and these are more of like the, almost like a scissor type, but they've got a guard on here to help you not take too much off at a time. These are my preferred method, but there's other types we have. We also have grinders. None of these methods have worked for her, so hopefully, hopefully a little bit of restraint will, will help us with Miss Lola here. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Let's find one of our longest nails here. So this this little finger, she's already freaking out. She hates this. So we're gonna go for just her pointer finger here. I know, I know, I know. We did it, we got a nail. Yeah. What'd you think? I mean, she's not crying. Let's try, I wanna to try to get this thumbnail because one of the things that I feel like is the most difficult with this hack is like reaching around her. So I wanna to try to get one of these thumbnails which are some of the hardest to get because of the angle. Go hold still, honey. She is pushing on me, so that's, that's one of the things I struggle with her a lot is how much she pushes. Okay, you're wiggling, you're wiggling. Go hold still. Yeah, she hates this so much. All right, we got it. Honestly, we still have so much work to do. Her nails are crazy, crazy long. Let's try one more and then we'll move on to the next hack. Just one, just one, give me one more nail. Okay, we're just gonna move on to the next hack. <laughs> okay, so for the next hack we're gonna try, I've seen this one everywhere. I've seen it done a few different ways. The first person I saw do this, I think wrapped saran wrap around her head and then put peanut butter on her forehead to do it. Um, but I've also seen people do it like 
in the bathtub, like while you're bathing your dog, um, you can see it's already <laughs> garnering some attention. So I've taken one of the little lids that we can put over some canned dog food for preservation, stuck some duct tape on the back, and we're just gonna see if this is enough of a distraction that one or both of these dogs will let me trim their nails. All right, so Oliver's already intrigued and I've only just put it on the wall. He's gonna knock it off the wall. You're getting too aggressive. Okay, so now that he's going, this is already a giant mess, so I kind of hate it, but let's go ahead and grab his little foot. Oh, he's, he's not happy about this. He's kind of, he's kind of growling a little bit. He's not really a biter, but he really hates having his nails trimmed. Now Lola's not really going for it. I think she sees the clippers and is kind of freaking out and also backing away. Come here, honey. Come sit with me. She says, no, you have the clippers, mom. Come here. Here, I put them down. Come here. I got peanut butter on my hands because this is a mess. Yeah, so you can trust me. I'm not going to do anything with your fingernails at all. Oliver's just going to town. Let's try, let's try him again. Yeah, see, the second I grab his foot, he's already growling. And he stops licking. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to work much for him. Let's try Lola. Let's move her a little closer. And she's immediately backing up. You know, I think this might work pretty well for their bath time, um, which I think might be why some people have used it in the bathtub, like putting it on the bathtub walls. But for nail trimming, um, I might not have put this on my forehead, but he ain't happy. He don't want me to touch his feet. And Lola's not even giving it a shot, so let's go ahead and move on to the next hack. Okay, so our last hack actually took some construction. So this I kind of uh, fashioned with some fabric that I had. Uh, so this idea came from a few different pages where I found these photos and videos of people putting their dog in almost like a hammock or a sling with their feet sticking out the bottom and that would suspend the dogs in air and allow you to clip their nails like that. So I actually made one uh, using some fabric I got at Hobby Lobby and basically it's just got these large velcro straps on both sides here. Let me see if I can kind of show you and then some holes at the bottom for the feet and the dog just kind of hangs there. Now, you might be thinking, well, what are you going to hang the dog from? Because you can't really just do this. And Well, we are actually going to be taking Miss Lola and our dog sling, and we're going to go to the gym. We're going to hang her from the squat bar rack thing, almost like spit roasting. We're going we're to spit roast hang my dog in the least violent way uh, possible. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we are in the gym. We have the spit roaster set up. I think at this point it's fairly, fairly clear that Lola is about done with my crap right now, but we are not done with her nails. So let's go ahead and slide her in. All right, so you wanna make sure that the Velcros are secured. You wanna make sure she's safe. She is dangling, she's in it. All right, let's go ahead and try and trim some fingernails. You gotta stop kicking at me. So right off the bat, she is having a harder time getting away, but she is still kicking. So let's pull her toes back. It's better to, I've read, I have read this. I am not an expert, but I've read it's better to almost like do it this way out of their line of sight. And that's gonna help it to make them a little calmer or at least that's what the internet said. So let's go ahead and give this a little nip. This is one of the longer fingernails right now. She is fighting. But I got a nail. It was much harder for her to fight, I think. We still got lots of work to do. Oh, honey, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, honey. You okay? Mwah. I know this is the worst. And you don't like it. I know, poor thing. We're just gonna do a couple more nails and then I'll let you down, okay? 
and give you a treat, give you a snack. This girl is a fighter. I know, I know, just one more, just one more. I know, I know. Let me try to go for a back foot. Maybe if she can't see me so much, she won't be as worried. Oh my goodness, this is tricky. Okay, well, I think it's about time for some final conclusions. Of the three hacks that we tried, I think the one that worked the best for Lola in her kicking fighting style was probably the baby carrier. But my biggest problem with it was how difficult it was to actually see the nails and see the quicks. Um, but I like that it was, I was able to give her hugs while doing it. Peanut butter hack, totally worthless for the purposes of what we were trying to do with my particular dogs. The hammock, the hammock hack. This, um, I think it's, it's got some wins, some lose. Cause like, let me just dangle you for a minute. She's, she's solid. Uh, I made sure to line the inside with a comfortable fabric and made sure that it was going to be supporting her and all of her, going to be supporting her all across her belly. So I can tell like, this isn't hurting her in any way. She's not exactly not distressed. She is unhappy right now. Um, she's probably not going to be very friendly with me for prob she's probably going to be mad at me for like the next couple hours but she is safe she's physically not in any danger we used some pretty strong velcro so i'm confident putting her in it um, it worked really really well when we were testing it uh, while i was making it we, we used oliver so that's one of the reasons his nails are not super super long right now it worked very well for oliver i just don't think it's a very good hack for miss lola I think for her we might have to stick with the baby carrier method or just keep trucking along and giving it a shot until COVID's over and we can take her to the groomer and have the professionals take a look at her. But thanks for joining us for this little uh, trial and error time. And uh, let me know down in the comments if there's any hacks that you use to trim your stubborn dog's nails. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.